this guy well, who's this guy from who put this man here who put this those eyes like that on that helmet looks like he's from like Shrek 2 but it looks too realistic to be Shrek 2 Shrek 2 is not yet real life uh anyway did you guys know that you can get to this bonfire without going through the illusory wall this is the most fucking useless secret ever because it's it's no effort to go through the illusory wall, but you can actually. Okay, I died there. He's in the house tonight. Don't die. There we go. And that's how you do it. And you just go there, rest at that bonfire without hitting the illusory wall, and just hide behind there. But uh, going on the on the theme of things I didn't fucking know at all about this area, I didn't know that there's a survivable fall here. You can fall there and live easily. What the fuck? And it leads down to this area. I thought all those falls, like falling off any ledge there, killed you. But no. What the hell? Yeah, I kind of wish there was more of this. Uh, this is a very unique, cool area in the game. I know Dark Deed is like... I think it's like the only PvP viable spell or some shit like that. I've heard something about how it's like the only one that people actually use against each other. Wow. I feel like a real gamer right now. Yep, real gamer hours. Oh, look, I'm gonna press it again after he's dead. I'm a real gamer. Will we ever get a full cheese run? This is probably gonna be the, as close as it's gonna get. I mean, I... I wanna do... I wanna do this. Whoa. That door, like, jiggled for a second in a way that, uh, does not feel... intentional. Oh, yeah, I, uh... I duped souls over and over and over again. And as you can see... I did not fuck up uh, duping the Iron Golem soul, and actually I was so consistent at it and so good at duping the soul that the other ones that I lost also came back. So, what do you know? Everything worked out alright in the end. So now Sif is spawned into the arena and I can just shoot with arrows. I wish I could move while using the <gasps> I I literally rolled backwards. I... I literally rolled backwards, though. I was literally holding back on the controller. All right. Here goes nothing. Yeah! Yeah! Let's fucking go! The cheese right between the fucking eyes. This is like way... This is like going out of my way to do this. Way more difficult to do than the actual, like, just going inside and killing it method. So I want to be sure I'm actually hitting it before I start, uh plug in a bunch of other arrows into it. Also, nice texture work here. Stretched out texture, blurry texture, uh-huh. Looks like this one, this polygon, doesn't have a back to it. Yeah, that's good. Sick fucking game, Dark Souls. Are you gonna hear the, like, shink? Yeah! <laughs> I did it! <laughs> oh, I feel like such a fucking asshole. <laughs> Victory achieved. Earned. Victory earned. Yes, copyright laws are comically fucked. It's true. It's truly miserable and all the people in charge are just, like, fully grown two-year-olds. That, that just have no fucking idea what they're doing and just want to grub as much money off the situation as possible. It's just companies being shitty, and then the government being shitty in conjunction with those companies. This guy's usually so mellow, and now he's like, I'm literally fucking begging you. Got Nestus. What did he just say no? Just like, no, you can't have it. Whoa! Bruh! Somebody just kindled the Firelink bonfire twice. I got so much, like, weapon bloat. What the fuck? Wait! I'm getting Nestus for days! Actually, you can't... Ooh. What's happening? Remember when, uh... Jerma was going through here and he was like, Oh, I'm just gonna... Chests make you invincible! I'm just gonna use the chest animation to, to tank through the damage! And then it was the mimic. <laughs> right now, where... where oh, wait, the path! Oh, wait... Uh, the, 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 the path! Like, where do I go? Wait! Oh, oh my god! Oh, now he's running around the other side. What, a, what an idiot! Where'd he go? What, you're an idiot! Die! Oh! No. <laughs> I, I used the dark sign. Oh, I knocked down the chandelier! I could make the jump. 
My famous scream. You guys remember my famous scream moment that made it onto Reddit? Perfectly cut screams. Give me the cheese. Give me the cheese. Yeah. Give me the cheese. Bring me the cheese. Oh, he's moving around quite a bit, though. Oh, okay, and there it goes. And there it goes, folks. Another fucking iconic thing. The two archers. Arching. Two archers arching. Come on. Die! See ya! Fucking see ya! Wow, that felt good. That felt good. Not gonna try and use the cheese. Uh, I think the cheese for this fight is really fucking hard to do. I don't think so. I'm just gonna try using, like, spell casting, which is the other kind of cheese. Okay, wow, bye, Dragon Slayer Ornstein. We'll be fucking seeing you. Do you. What do you say I choke here, folks? What do you say we have a good old-fashioned grapefruit choke? So yeah, lots of lore in this room. The, uh, not only is there a statue of Gwyn and uh, Gwendolyn, but there's also, or Guinevere, rather. There's also the missing statue of the, the son's firstborn. And, uh, something I never noticed, there's a door for Ornstein and a door for Smau. There's, like, a massive one for his- for he fat ass over here. Never picked up on that. So cool. Great environmental storytelling. I was thinking with Quilag, there's a door that she ostensibly walks through to get to that fight that her body just straight up could not fit through. I think the first time I played this game, I didn't even know that you could warp between bonfires at all, so that was, like, True pog. Oh, there was a cool bit in an illusory wall video about how this cutscene works, how it loads in chunks of the rest of the map where they actually should be to show you the glimpses of like all the doors disappearing. And he had a really cool way of illustrating it. If you, if you guys want to check out illusory walls video on Lordran layout, if you've liked all the little dumb fun facts I've been spouting this whole playthrough, he's got so much more of that shit and it's really interesting. But like, this is a tiny version of Firelink Shrine that's loaded in. It's just what we're seeing there. This is like a tiny version of just the cliff in the catacombs, or in the Tomb of the Giants. It's, it's just interesting how they did that shit. And in fact, I think you couldn't even see the Duke's archives behind there, behind that hill, which you normally would be able to see because they didn't load them in, or something like that. Also, this is the door that Quilag could not pass through, but ostensibly did at the beginning of that boss. She, like, comes down these stairs. Maybe she did come out of the pit. I don't think she did, though. I kinda wanna fight this guy normally. Like, actually fight someone in the game. Oh, wait. Nope. Cheese. Yes. Pure cheese. Sprint in that direction. Yes. My pet. <laughs> well, I was like, I wanna actually fight someone. And then the cheese opportunity presented itself. Nope. Are you gonna play Meat Boy forever? No. <laughs> I stopped a long time ago. <laughs> it goes. It's just weird that it doesn't go to like Pyromancy Flame 16 or Pyromancy Flame Ascended or something. It just says Pyromancy Flame. I'll do it. Now, Should I do that, chat? I want a thousand responses. Real it. ones. Only real it's ones. I, she told me her name and I would already forget which one she is. Also, time to see if I can get down there before the poison wears off, even though I literally have Remedy out right now. I'm gonna make a little game of it. Like, I, I'm not completely against... I, I like the trope of early game boss becomes regular enemy later on. I just think this particular field was maybe not done hugely well. Oh! Oh, you've got an aggro range, do ya? Oh, that's right fucking cheeky! Well, I think that's bloody exploitable! I guess, hold on. Yeah, baby! I'm gonna backflip all the way there. We're gonna go all the way downtown with backflip. 
Like, I posted something about that on Twitter, about how maybe if we stopped complaining so much about games taking too long to come out, then maybe they would stop rushing them. And a bunch of people were like, oh, the corporate overlords don't care what we say, but I think they care a little more than you might think in that particular instance. Because you know what they care about? Money. You know what good customer, uh, not good customer service, but good uh, customer relations equals more money. And then just like lock me in there with his fucking thunder thighs. That hit? Yeah! Yeah, that hit me! Yeah! It's, uh, it's... This one of the trickier bosses so far with spells, because... There's not a whole ton that I can do. Die! Get out of here! Oh, Jesus. That took way too long. Ah, man. Well, you know what? Overcame a challenge for once in this fucking playthrough. <laughs> And it wasn't just, like, my own dumb hubris that led to all my deaths. I, I actually had to beat something that was difficult. You know what? Maybe it's for the best. Oh, god damn it! They, they, they touched his fucking grundle. They touched his grundle. Ah, oh, shit.